Uh, these are the three video files I was going to include as part of um, later Citadel missions, but I decided that I don't want to um, do all the side quests on my own anymore and put them together in a big montage. Um, so instead, I'm going to grab, or sorry, I have grabbed Cobbs and we're going to go through these three last videos, part of the lost files, I guess, and watch through them really quick. I'm waiting to... Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? What do you mean, I'm people like me? Bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> white geishas. Maybe you can help me. Bleached white geishas. Y'all can't handle recon missions for shit. All you do is serve me sushi and sake. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't Dude, get I would to love an right? army of geishas. Me too. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Cause I would die! <laughs> it's actually not possible to hold your breath, uh, to kill yourself while holding your breath. Oh, really? No, I'm you lose consciousness and start breathing again. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the weird noise he made? Nah, nah. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. A specter? Well, excuse me, specter princess. The inspector gadget. How have we not made that joke yet? Right? Even out into the traverse. Well, we don't see many inspectors. The Majesty. It was crossing the traverse. And none of them use gadgets. When it disappeared, just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one or two things. But it's in mass mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options yeah. leaves a it's, lot of It's It's close to being Spectre. I we could make a plethora of puns on Not that. Yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Do you, you even know what a plethora is? Give me the coordinates. Uh, it's a lot of something. It's a three amigos ship reference. Right away. Oh. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Is that a Mexican restaurant? You've never seen three amigos? I've never seen three amigos. He's never seen three amigos. Let's just watch that instead of this. <laughs> You're Commander Shepard. But this is entertaining. Oh, this is the guy that was calling to us when you were going up and down the stairs in the previous uh, uh, sub side quest. Conrad, Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Conrad in Prime. They say a lot of things. More than I was too busy killing them to count. Don't encourage him, <laughs> Shepard. Probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? My friends at ISIS would be flipping out if they found out I had your autograph. There you go. That was a reference to Archer, Thanks. not the terrorist really group, by the way. My wife is going to be so impressed. <laughs> I forgot it was a I'll terrorist you group. <laughs> oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd oh love God. to buy you a drink. Thanks again. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't do it, Shepard. He's he's going to do bad things to your butt. Just stay away from that guy. I honestly am not sure he has any sort of harbors any sort of sexual lust after Shepard that he would actually act on. He seems like too much of a nerd to do that. I think he'd just sit across the table from her and just, like, stare at her the whole meal. And Shepard would just be like, uh, are we gonna talk about anything? Can I touch your pistol? Now we're back to Mass Effect. Um, the most important thing that's happened since the last time we recorded is, lo and behold, oh, I'm not throwing up. Yep, I fixed the problem where uh, the camera would randomly spin, so we won't be having that issue ever again. Hooray. It so, immediately happens. Um, One of two things we can do. Would you like to go to the Citadel first or talk to our crew first? You know, we haven't been to the Citadel in so long. Let's talk to the crew. That was sarcasm. I couldn't <laughs> tell, obviously. <laughs> 
We spent half this playthrough on the Citadel so far. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Look at that shifty eye. What? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. <laughs> Get in line, on, bitch. Yes, ma'am. And I decide if you just if you are going to have relations with said non-humans on this vessel. Seriously. Bro needs to check his privilege. What's up, Joker? I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Um, you sure Earning you metals that? is hard. <laughs> Earning metals is hard. Why not? Saving my boots from burning lava is part of your job, Joker. We don't give medals to soldiers for doing their jobs. That we kind of do. Just get me a nice card and a cake. No coconut, though. I hate that crap. I hate coconut, so, too. Man, I love coconut. Really hate it. Fuck it. Uh, ship status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? Now I want She's a mound bar. the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Those are coconuts, like, what you'd covered in chocolate, right? It takes a while to get yeah. used to that oversized I've never had one of those before, but I've seen them around. You'd probably hate it. If you're not careful. Probably. The probably. But I thought I'd hate the mints that you gave me. Pilot commander. Lucky for you, those I gave you mints? Average. Yeah, the little, like, thin wafery mints with the, um... I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? The minty stuff in them? I can see where this is going. You did a I background check. I the, don't recall. They're well, in plastic wrap. No, not the they're not plastic wrap. They're you in the the silvery I'm not metal good. wrap. I'm not even great. And they're like the best damn this in the Alliance tiny. Elite. Top of and you used to get them out of vending machines. You gave me one of these. Last time I, I came upstairs and we had those weren't given to like steak or something. We ate something and you gave me mints. And they were a little like chocolatey mints. I can't for the life of me. And these mints? <laughs> infect the crew. Do they come in a green foil wrapper? Oh man, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Okay, in, I've got I think so. Syndrome. I no haven't had Andy's mints in a long time. How did I end up with them? Basically hollow, too much We're gonna have to find shack. those mints again, so I can yeah, point them out to you and show you what you did. That's something we have to figure out off stream. <laughs> I can't believe this I'm is... racking my brain trying to remember what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> um, just don't ask me. This is the second time we've actually. Oh, I want to want to hear this one. How did you get your name? Did you ever pursue this conversation option with him? I never played the game. All right. Okay. I don't know if I've seen it pursued. If I did, I don't remember. Okay, so do you know about his disease? Yes, he has brittle bone disease. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you guys, how do you guys think name is probably something you'll be interested in. Why then. does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> that doesn't spell Joker. It spells Affeljum. <laughs> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. <laughs> Look, I didn't what? pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used because to bug me about never smiling. Because he pulls the sleigh. She started calling me Joker, mm -hmm. and it stuck. Well, that would make him a reindeer. Oh. I guess. Why didn't you? Well, I guess smile? not, because Santa drives. Yeah. Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. Presley's the, world's the reindeer. not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Okay, so he's the bean of the group. Except he's a lot the funnier. Look, if yeah, you're looking basically. for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. Oh. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. Cool. I have to go. All right, see ya. So his mom has the job that I'm trying to get. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I haven't really talked about this yet. Um, IRL, I'm looking for methods to pay the bills, and one of them is becoming a civilian contractor, which I guess I can't talk about too much, but I've done a lot of research into the position lately, and it's a lot more involved than I thought it was, and I hope I'm really good at it. I think I would be good at it having an MBA, but God knows. All right, let's talk to Chocter, Dr. Chocwas. Chocter Dockwas. Yes, Commander? Dr. Fockwas. Um, no, I've already exhausted all these. Go. Let's talk to Caden, because Caden should have something to say this time instead of just being a prick. All right, try not to stand directly under the light this time. 
It's it's gonna put that. me in the same. Let me sneak up on him. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> same spot. <laughs> it's because my skin tone is so messed up. Uh, I'm listening. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong. Here. You're telling us. Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Someone meaning pretty much everyone. Hmm. Actually, what does he expect me to do with that information? We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Oh, I get what you're saying. It's funny. We finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled, and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view or the dangers. Yeah, they've become too passive about stuff. Yeah. Well, well, you're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? Wow, that did not sound like a Paragon I, I option. I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to... I don't think it's really paragon a woman he loves or... You know, for justice. Maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm Bad. not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. What did they train you for? Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our He sounds like a guy who's had to swallow a lot of passive-aggressive legalese and uh, other kinds of language. Yeah, definitely. Um, accidental exposure. Yeah, this was another thing that wasn't explained in the later games. How kids basically got biotics in the first place. I kind of had a vague idea that like some parents put their kids in for like upgrading or whatever. There are worse kinds of accidental accidental exposure to element zero causing biotic abilities. In some cases, causes giant brain tumors and tumors in some cases causes biotics so basically <sighs> flip a coin <laughs> and it probably isn't accidental i'm guessing uh it's like some kind of secret controlled experiment by the governments of earth well let's find out actually we can ask him about it is there some question about how you were exposed my mother was downwind of a transport crash it was before there were human biotics a little after the discovery of the martian ruins it only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We'd like get together and fight the buggers, you know. It was a research the, what? Then it Ender's game reference. Zero. Oh yeah! <laughs> I just made one and you laughed at it earlier. <laughs> I, well, I didn't, I guess I didn't get that one as, as well as that one, but I watched Ender's Game. I didn't actually read it. I tried to read it. Ah, I never saw the movie. I was content with the books. I think, I thought they were okay. I didn't care about seeing an adaptation. Time to get physical then. <laughs> Let's get physical. Is that implying sex or is that implying beating each other up? You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Veronica. Oh, I thought she... I thought the implication she was, was Turkey, beating each other up. Very rich. The implication she was smart. getting it on? Yeah, a bunch of teenagers trapped on a station. I, I mean... Okay, I, I get... You, I guess. you put it that way, yeah, okay. I actually realize that's Sounds like she was special what normal people would 
she immediately jump to. Maybe she felt the same, but things never felt together. Training. When I think of a bunch of teenagers getting together in a lawless outer space certain... thing, I just think they're all going to beat each other up. <laughs> Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. Hmm. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. That's creepy. Yeah. Jump zero is a long way from home. So is this never like followed up on, or has is this all such ancient history that like it's been it's been dealt with and swept under the rug and no one will ever talk about it again? I'm not sure, and Caden apparently is um, deviating a little bit. I'm interested though. I really do want to hear more about this. Yeah. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. I obviously never got to know Caden, so this is all new to me. Make a habit of getting this personal with This is the conversation option though. So here this is where you can decide if you want to get physical. Yeah. Um I really haven't gotten this in depth with anyone else on the crew yet. But I'm gonna play this card with him. Hmm. No, no I don't. We'll talk again later. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted, <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> you dick! <laughs> but, yeah, I'd like that. I thought that's what you meant to go for. I thought that's what you said you were about to do. I thought she was going to say something along the lines of, what do you think? And oh, I said, no, no, I don't. Which is not, what do you think? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact opposite. It's like basically saying, it's, I... you get the conversation option, what do you think? And Shepard goes, Please put your dick in my <laughs> pussy. I really, like, I, I, I didn't think too much about it. I'm like, well, it sounds like she's being coy, so she'll just say something coy, and that's how it'll lead. That was sort of coy, but really it's a not. a totally different kind of coy, and this is where I really wish Bioware had completely redone the way they do dialogue branches for 2 and 3, but they didn't. They just kept on with this vague response system. As opposed to, here's exactly what you're going to say. Like so you can make an informed and proper decision. As most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do Didn't we talk to him about this already? One of the best. I grew up I'm not sure. No, no, we didn't. He's, we didn't. He's, he's further elaborating on his decision right. to leave C-Sec. Yeah, about how his dad took his resignation pretty hard. So he's been talking to his dad, so this is after some yeah. time. Um He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a C sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. Not gonna identify with that. Wow, with that attitude, good luck ever like dealing with failure, because it's gonna happen sooner or later. Whoa! I forgot about that line. Why? Why would he do that? He thinks that Spectres are lawless? You were asked to be a Spectre. Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. Yeah. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. But it's not someone having unlimited power with no accountability. It's they're your all son having unlimited power with no accountability. <laughs> it's completely different. If they're good people in the Spectres, it's not a problem. Yeah, if his dad is as lawful as uh, as Garrus claims that he is, then he would have raised Garrus to not be like to have a moral code. And course, even if he became Spectre, it wouldn't corrupt him. Or He'd or be able to abide by it. his code that he ra was raised with. To nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. I love Garrus. He's my favorite. All right, let's talk to Ashley. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. We don't have Is records anymore, Ashley. No, ma'am. Well, it's all okay. data disks. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, 
Should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, Listen, sensors, the ship weapons... Built by aliens? You could be standing on a Turian-built bulkhead right now. Yeah, Would basically. you trust it? Um... Would you trust I'm gonna, that bulkhead, Ashley? I'm gonna poke uh, into this a little bit more. You trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. I trust that's not insubordination, I hear. No, ma'am. That's patriotism. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Well, that is true. Yeah, the council's had a grudge against us since the first <clears throat> contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look. Maybe it's the host, the bear, or the ring, the but definitely not the grudge. Stick your dog on it and run. You'll do it. <laughs> wow. It it's not wow. Racism. I've never seen any of those movies, by the way. species will always be more important to them than humans are. Where are these coming from? I want to know why she thinks like this. These yes. seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? Turian killed my mom. Krogan killed my dad. Since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Shut up, Ashley! <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Uh. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Guess you make a habit of second guessing your superiors. Ooh. I. No, ma'am. Just shut up. My family grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Couldn't say, Ashley. Actually, yeah. Um, considering my background, I would say, wouldn't you? Earth's seen better days. Lots of pollution, too many people. Well, people are trying to fix it, but... But right now, it's not the best place to be. I guess without a family, you had no reason to stay. If her family's been around that long, then she's probably had her family be in the first contact war, which kind of yeah. makes sense. Oh, yeah. So I can understand. I don't agree with them, but I understand. All the right. families can internalize a lot of stuff, too, and not, like, allow a lot of concepts from outside the family bubble to penetrate to the younger generations. Yeah. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Remember that. <laughs> Commander Shepard will Welcome remember that. Problem. Anything else you need, Commander? Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. All right. Hmm. There's that. Um. All right. Let's talk to our buddy Rex. Yeah. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten to the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. Saren's been raiding cargo I was on ships? Board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? He was looking for a princess, wearing a white robe and buns in her hair. Watch it. <laughs> a couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. 
I had a really bad feeling about him. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. Mainly Quadro Triticale. That ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's fair. Whose ship was it? <clears throat> there was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? <sighs> yeah. I'm imagining Rex curling up into like Still a morph ball like Samus and just bowling over Volus by the dozens. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. What? Every damn one. So long, Rex. No uh, witnesses? Shepherd. No witnesses. I love Rex's stories. They're all so good. <sighs> He's like, yeah, I worked with Saren once. Uh, he killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got away, somehow. Yeah, I decided to leave because I got a bad feeling. Yeah. And I was correct. Oh. You sound down, bro! Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? <laughs> I find it rather peaceful. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. <laughs> it's like I'm just thinking about my missing. romance option when I, I played my game, and I just wanted I to say to her, to go on my I'll show you. I couldn't wait to get away from How you sleep at night? Now that I'm out here, we can make some I noise. <laughs> if it'll help you, if it'll help you sleep, I mean, it's fine. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. It's good to get out know, for a while. There's always a few who go on their pilgrimage. I know I've appreciated it. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. Pretty much everybody that's left my hometown after high school, um, they've gone on and done great things. And it's just like, you know, if they'd stayed in our hometown, there really wouldn't have been much for them to do. They wouldn't have been, you know, like me. We would have been bored. We wouldn't have grown as people. Yeah. Anything? No. I should go. See you later. Okay, so that's Rex, Tally... Garrus, Caden. I'm missing someone. I'm missing someone. We haven't talked to Liara. Someone. Yeah, we haven't talked to Liara. Where is? Where is Liara? I forgot. Um, we just picked her up. I don't think we've talked to her on the ship yet. Oh, I know where she is. I just remembered. I got distracted by Ch Doctor Chakwas. Last time I tried to go back here. Ah. She's back in this room. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I believe her. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. Unearthing mundane items buried in long forgotten Prothean ruins. Does that mean she actually digs up things Sounds like dangerous. remotes? And lonely. <laughs> this one belongs to a Samsung 48 inch. I would run afoul of indigenous there's a, life there's just a planet so dedicated a to throwing away old TVs and remote controls, and she's but just I was like. Careful. Until the I just collect them. This I is not a universal remote. I cannot turn on my TV. With this. 
I can't believe how people well, use these things instead of Omni tools. You mean you have to pick them up with Sometimes your hands and press like buttons? What's this slot people? for? Why are these things leaking? Why does the leaking hurt my hands? <laughs> you don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. That kind of... That must have made her mad. I bet that pissed her off. No. When I told her, she simply said, A daughter must rebel against her mother, Liara. It is part of the natural <laughs> order. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. I that kind of am I understanding a bit more so why she's so detached socially. Marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. I didn't really I didn't touched by working. Prothean I didn't know the technology. depth of her origins. I knew that she worked on Prothean ruins Sounds and like stuff. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. She is the nerd no, on the station. I did not mm. mean to Tally is not. She is definitely. Somewhere. Tally's a geek. Be an interesting yeah. specimen Liara's a nerd. Study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Actually, Tally's not a geek. I think she's more of a dork. Oh, by the goddess. How she's like I a... Be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. What's the name of hot... Like, like hot chick mechanics? With data discs and computers. Oh, um... I always uh, seem to say something embarrassing. A grease girl? Uh, Please, just no. pretend this conversation never happened. No, I. There is a term. I don't remember it. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? She's like that though. She's Wrench like. Wench. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari no, to become more involved Wren in shaping wow. galactic Wrench events. Wench. Maybe she thought a line. There's a better word. There is a better word. That's the only one that I can remember. That's like D and D terminology or whatever. Um. Or some kind of some RPGs. I'll think that. about it. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Which is why our diplomat on the Citadel ignores species. every other Seems race's pleas for help. <laughs> it's not entirely true, it's just humanity. Yeah. My people. But we no, never I see, lied. We never see other races go to the Council for anything. So we don't know how they're treated. Yeah, it's true. They could um, all be getting the cold shoulder. Well, I know the Volus get fucked. Like because the Volus complain about not having a seat on the Citadel despite the fact that they've been here forever. Mm. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. Despite the fact that everyone's we referred to as a she. A partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Ew! <laughs> I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. Liara, I really don't want to hear about non-traditional marriages. But Shepard, it is traditional. No, 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 I can't hear you. It's really creepy, though, that their mating process actually requires absolutely no physical contact. Mm -hmm. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? We Every eat them. Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, <laughs> you stupid idiot. Oh yeah, that does make sense. Space flight and left our home world. Well, our own comments, that's not exactly no true. Common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Could fuck a monkey. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. 
<laughs> Let's not think about that too hard. <laughs> if both parents are sorry, She's like, no, I mean, that does completely kill her arg argument, though. Well, yeah, you're right. Unless they need a sentient species somehow. If, if it's purely biological, she could just do it with, like, a germ cell or something. Like, bacteria, maybe? I feel like having How a complex does an organism have to be for you to be able to mate with it? Yeah, I feel like having a dolphin daughter. Poke. Flipper, you are now mine. That raises so many more questions, too, about, like, consent. Is it necessary to have consent if it's that harmless to the other person? I don't think it's cons it's as consentive with the sorry. I think it's basically a mind meld, and then they that that's basically how they breed, yeah, as but, far as I know. You know, but both partners have to be willing to mind meld. What if, you know, if it's a non-sentient species, would that actually be like, oh, you, you mind melded with them? That's not cool. But it's, I bet that is, is it like harmless? Is it not harmless? That's, that's something that a uh, future Mass Effect thing might do, might be well. <laughs> It'll like be really awkward if they that would do be that, though. There could be like a side quest where like one Asari is actually like being like shunned in trouble for like dating a dolphin. Okay, but then, and then Shepard has to assemble a dolphin translator. <laughs> well, whoever you're playing in the game has to assemble a dolphin translator. Goodbye, and then you find out the dolphins are sentient, like they are in Sequest DSV. Yeah. I don't feel like talking to her about how single parents deal with single children for obvious reasons. <laughs> so I'll just leave that there. Um, alright. So that's, that's all the crew. So let's go back to the Citadel now and poke around a bit. See what's going on there. I've got, I think I've got five side quests that I need to take care of on the Citadel, and then we can head off to uh, Pharaohs or Novaria. I'm not sure which one I want to do first. Probably Pharaohs.